for your dedication to excellence, your commitment to education, and your creativity in designing products that positively impact people around the world, I am pleased to award you the honorary Doctor of Engineering from Michigan State University. I have a few honorary degrees and I have a real degree and they mean so much to me that these are the most important days of my life. You know, they, people say, what's the proudest day of your life? Probably my own college graduation. But every one time something like this happens, I go home and at night I lay in bed and I think, how could somebody who was just an engineer basically, you know, didn't seek any limelight, how could he wind up being so honored, you know, and get a degree from such a great university as this? And I'll probably cry. And I, I mean, and the colors green and white were my high school colors. I felt right at home, you know. So I'm a Spartan now, and I'm very proud of it. A lot of the message was, I, I wish I had actually physically said, stated that when we started Apple, we were in our young 20s, no money, no business experience. But I was trying to carry across the idea that, you know, you believe in yourself, and even if you're thinking differently than other people, don't say, I have to always go the way it's done. Give yourself some room to use your brain and think again. And also a little bit of, hey, be nice and be kind in the world. I wish I had remembered to say that sometimes I think it's more important to stoop down and help a child tie a shoe than to start a company. My advice to young people going out in the world is, first of all, it's okay to take a normal job. It's working for the man. Any company is a great holding spot. You've got to get a holding spot because, first of all, you need enough money to live. Get a life of your own. Don't overdo partying, boyfriends, entertainment, drugs, any of that stuff, because otherwise you won't have time to really make your life into something big. On your own time, you have your own desires, and they may not match what you do at your work and your company, but you should be working on those, and you should make a goal for, for yourself to be better than anyone else in the world at it, or something. It just has to be so perfect, because it is you, what you are creating. You know, in, in my world, it's either hardware or software, but, um, and, and, if other people say, no, 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 10 other people, 20 other people, everyone else says, it's done a different way. I, no, no, I can still believe in my own self. I believe in my own ideas. I think I might work out this new formula. This might make sense. This might go. Every single one of the, the big companies that we admire so much these days, Apple and Google and Facebook and Twitter, all started out that way with a lot of people thinking this wasn't really going to go anywhere, the people starting it, not sure how far it goes, you know, and seeing some insights. It looks like there's a lot of interest here. Whoa, it looks like a bunch of people are using this. It kind of came about without being able to calculate the answer. You can't necessarily calculate out what's going to be real popular. And you're changing the world, you know, and this is your start, and make the best of it. Whatever you do, though, as you work, try to build in some jokes and humor and fun and laughter. It's just, it's got to keep that in your life or find something else to do. YouTube is a good example of all the creativity with so many little people around the world that you never would have seen. You never would have seen all the great, fun, funny, talented, incredible videos, incredible music videos. In your life, you wouldn't have known about them because you only got the sources that were supplied by the heavily empowered and heavily financed, the big pow money powers that directed only certain information your way. That's going to happen to the internet pretty soon too, you know, if we don't have incredible net neutrality, much more than net neutrality really. So um, the, the world is just open for young people to be able to publish and be seen anywhere. You know, you don't have to have the, the world of money behind you. We're all in the same game called life. I'm in a life, and my life isn't anything without all the billions of people in the world. We're all in the same game and we're interacting. If somebody's not like me, why should I care? They have their way, I have my way. If, they, if they'll leave me alone, let me be my way, I'll let you be your way. I'm not going to say bad things about you. Matter of fact, if you're nasty to me, real bad to me, say bad things, I won't say bad things back. You know, it's a principle, be nice. I don't know why people, you know, even religious people don't seem to get that in their heads. They only like people if they're exactly like they are. And we've got to have all types, the world's full of all types. We're all in the same game, we're all getting to our destination. Let's help everybody get there.